Hi there everybody, this is Jazz, aka Trend Trader for you, and here I am once again uh, doing the weekly analysis, but at the same time I'm recording this, which will be emailed out to all the members, uh, and I'm also broadcasting this on the ticker TV. So if there are viewers, good, if not, that's fine because it's going to get recorded anyway. And that's why I put this out in the Facebook group that uh, it's going to be um, recorded and mailed out. So I do this uh, for the uh, new people or the people who are who don't know me. I'm jazz. I'm a, you know, um, I trade day trade mostly, and I, I do uh, stocks mostly, stocks and futures. Uh, still getting into other stuff, but uh, uh, what I do usually is uh, send out a weekly analysis of SPY to over four to uh, six hundred members uh, that are in my emailing list, which is uh, free, and. You go to my website, trendtrader4u.com. You can look up on the, uh, the my profile on the ticker TV, and you can just sign up for it. This is all free. And if it makes sense to you, perfect. If it doesn't make sense to you, you know there are a thousand other resources where you can um, actually uh, find out if it's uh, helpful or not. Okay. So let's do the weekly analysis. Okay. So let's go into the. I'm actually on my bigger platform today, so I'm looking at a. Uh, uh, spy daily and the weekly side by side so let's explode this one okay so let's explode the weekly chart and we've been talking about for the longest time I don't remember uh, when I actually started talking about this uh, whole weekly analysis so what I've been drilling down is you have a uh, nice trend line cutting through most candles marking a clear uptrend right so Simple as that. Uh, if it's trending up, you have an uptrend. If it starts to go down, you have a downtrend. It's as simple as that. As far as right now, we had a little glitch here, which we talked about it, and then it went up back onto its uh, uh, uptrend. So this is what uh, the weekly picture is talking about. And let me actually delete this. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so it makes more sense. This is where we picked off the. 197.86, I believe. I think that's the low of it. Yeah, 197.86 picked up off. Uh, once this uh, low was made, a bullish trend was called back again. And then we had back to back, back two weeks of a uh, bullish uptrend. Still needs to uh, clear this high, but we take um, candle by candle, day by day, week by week, right? So week by week, this week, a small candle, but doesn't matter. We had a higher high and a higher low above the prior last week's candle right and this was uh, the one that we needed to take out which we did the past week and now we're aiming for this one to uh, 21297 on the SPY and uh, ES is different uh, but similar chart they're all the same charts but uh, at least you can see uh, the SPY you can trade it if you were to uh, buy options or whatever you need to do uh, you can trade the SPY itself or you can do the options on it so this is the, the weekly trend up nothing much to say nothing much to add in, into the um, the prior uh, analysis that we've been doing for you know last many many weeks, so it's still an uptrend. We'll see how you know if it's giving us weakness in a daily chart, and we'll go from there. But weekly trend is still up, regardless of the news or whatever is out there. You know, we just have to uh, believe in the technicals and see what they say, uh, candle by candle, right? So let's go into the daily. So I'm going to explode this now daily uh, what I did on here I like to keep my charts clean but since uh, you know a lot of traders they look at um, major uh, SMAs right 200 day SMA you have a 50 day SMA and a 20 day which is along the Bollinger Band so Bollinger Band is the over overbought or oversold if it's touching the upper band it's simple you know overbought if it's touching the lower band it's uh, oversold you know it's simple as that and for uh, newbies, you know, don't worry about it. All you gotta worry about is looking at the actual price action and looking at the candle. If they're if if, if the current candle is a uh, you know making a higher high prior to the last uh, to the last few candles, or if it's making a higher low in regards to the prior few, uh, few candles. But right now, let's just focus on what we see in front of us. So this was the uh, last week analysis was a. Uh, uh, I drew a trend line here, and uh, actually that a few weeks ago. This is where a trend was broken, and it was called an uptrend. 
this is where I was bearish as it came down. I was definitely bearish here, but I changed my thesis around after this candle was put in. Okay, after that I was bullish before I even broke out. And this was the major resistance that uh, that I alerted, you know, uh, for all this time. All this time I said, this is resistance, let's watch it break through. And eventually broke through out of here. And this was the move that we had this week. Every, every candle went up every single day. Today was a little, little bit of a, you know, catchy day. Uh, let me actually zoom in a little bit, clear that. And by the way, this was the high that was concerned about. This was uh, this was actually taken out. Now we're again we're looking at this high. Once this is uh, broken, we'll see if we have another uptrend running. But this is a very bullish candle. Whatever happened today, it uh, rallied up and it based around here. Then we have another nice rally. But this is uh, where I'm definitely sure a lot of people got stopped out uh, with their longs on it, just because this we had a down. Uh, in the beginning of the day, we had a little bit of down price action. It probably caused a lot of breakouts, uh, a lot of stopouts. So let's look into the clear chart, right? Now that you know in here that um, our price is above all the major moving SMAs, right? 50, 200, and 20, which is simple. It gives you, you can build a scan on based on this that if you want, if you want to find uh, uh, stocks that are uptrending, go to finviz.com, you know, uh, put a, uh, uh, Put your parameters of the stock, you know, put the volume of the stock that you look at, put the ATR, the average true range of the stock you uh, like, and just plug it all in there. And uh, what uh, what you need to plug in along with that is price above 20, price above 50, price above 200 SMA. Most likely you'll see a lot of stocks that are in uptrend. Okay, once you find them, then you have to do the homework. You have to go in there and see where the support is, where the resistance is. Uh, so this one, uh, this is uh, the analysis that actually I'm going to give out a trade in here on the uh, SPY for next week, coming week. Uh, that's what I, um, I put it as a, on the stock twits that I'll be uh, giving out a trade uh, so you know better sign up. So here's, let's look at this candle, right? Let's look at today's action. So let's uh, go into 30 minute, right? Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Price dropped here. So this was where uh, last few days low was this low, this low, and then this low, right? These were all taken out and by this candle. This is probably a lot of bears got suckered in. And you know, I would have too. I was just wasn't trading SPY. But uh, it, as longer term, you know, we're still looking at the weekly picture. But as a shorter term, a daily analysis, you know, you're going to analyze if there's a weakness in every day, every single day as you go. And this was a weakness and it dropped down, probably stopped everybody out, then gave another reversal candle and went back up on it. Uh, however, this was a risky trade in here, but this is the trade that uh, that was definitely in there, probably around uh, 209.95 with a stop below either the low of the day or stop below uh, 209.47. And what's amazing is this, as the spy was uh, unfolding. I was looking at the nine sectors, and every single sector, it dropped down. Okay, every single sector dropped down, and and I I have a, a chat room where I you know told the members, okay, we have a XLV is a bullish sector today, and it ended up being the most bullish. Uh, I don't know the percentage of it. Actually, I'm looking at the charts. It's uh, I have another screen. It's actually it is up 1.05 percent for the day. And it had a really nice reversal on it. In fact, I'll let me show you real quick uh, what I'm talking about. It XLV is a healthcare sector, right? So then I'll come back to this. So this was a trade. This was a trade in there. Uh, it, it gapped down, right? But see how you have it really nice uptrend in here. So this was great um, entry point right around this area, 7161 area, or you want to be safe, you know, uh, around let's just say 7164. And the stop would have been either low of here or the low of below the, this the below uh, this uh, blue line, and it gave a really nice rally up for the rest of the day, and everything just rallied up from there. The only laggard was I would say probably XLE, the the energy sector. It just gapped down, just went sideways, didn't do anything till end of the day. It, you know, went up a little bit. Uh, XLK was really good. It, it gapped up all the way. XLY was pretty good. XLP was good. XLF, you know, you name it, all the other sectors uh, did pretty good. Uh, XLU was a little downside, only went up a 0.02%. Uh, 
but this is where you know you analyze and how you want to trade by looking at the sectors not just by looking at any stock if you want to become successful if you want to become uh, the top 10 percent uh, traders that are successful you have to do all this homework you can't just say okay I'm, I'm going to you know trade something that this uh, chat moderator or the owner throw in I'm just gonna trade this just because he's trading you know you have to realize that he's not gonna be there one day or you or they might just cause you a big of a loss where you're like maybe I need to uh, get some learning get some education myself and that's where it'll hit you because you you want to have some kind of background in trading you want to know what the how the technical analysis work and how uh, you can approach it by you know using few tools such as you know support and resistance uh, candlesticks uh, trends and you know a little bit of indicators and just mostly reading the price action so SPY the trade that I was uh, that I'm giving you guys is here uh, so if the price comes in uh, let's do I'm just trying the line and since I'm broadcasting it's a little slow I don't know why okay this is what I'm looking okay if the price comes back and let me actually go into the I see it in daily you start your analysis in daily and then go into um, your smaller time frame to see where exactly uh, uh, how you can refine it so this is where I saw this and let's go into the, the 30 minute okay uh, to 209 I believe it was a 73 that that I had marked it down okay oh it's really slow okay so what we're going to do is look for a trade setup for Monday if the price comes back in this area right uh, right now it's a 21123 you could just keep on uh, going up you could, if price comes back in area give some kind of reversal we're going to pull the trigger on it okay you can pull the trigger on it you know these are all educational trade ideas and if the price goes they if you pull the trigger on right around here in your paper account or whatever you're trading right uh, your stop needs to go below about 209.49 I would say just below that and uh, but you need to see some kind of reversal some kind of bullish behavior uh, before uh, you, you go along in it but it might just keep on gapping up or you might just turn from 202 1074 you know we'll see how that works out uh, as far as analysis uh, you know goes you know we uh, have a road plan we follow it and every single time uh, rather than just say okay I'm going long here or I'm going short here you have to do your homework and then you say okay this is where I, I plan to go long with my this much of a risk that's my target and this is where uh, my entries okay so hopefully that helps and wrapping up the the weekly analysis and the spy analysis so weekly trend up daily is up also we're waiting for to this high to be broken and there's a trade that I gave in about a uh, you're talking about maybe you know 60 70 cents of a loss okay on this the so position size based on that we'll see how that goes and if that fails if that area fails we're looking about uh, something uh, for the price to retest uh, around uh, 208 12 area right around this if the price comes back in here that'll be another retest of it alright guys so that's it and uh, I'll be uh, sending this um, uh, copy out to the members as well so I'll talk to you guys later take care guys bye